I'm Lance Corey. We're out here at the Wyvern Ranch, and I'm going to show you how to do a double neck. I'm standing all alone, buried in my wit, hostile environment. Why am I even trying this? This is So on a double neck, when I first learned how to do it, um, well, you first basically have to have the jump down that you want to do it on. So today I'm doing it on a 75 foot ramp to dirt. It's pretty much a basic freestyle setup. Coming out of the corner on my 450, second gear, kind of rolling on the throttle. When I get to the ramp, I get on it pretty good. But I, um, I kind of lean off the ramp as if I was doing like a smaller whip or even just a regular knack knack. As I'm coming off the ramp, I lift my right foot over the seat and as it comes over the seat and I can start pushing my bike out to the right to get it to whip, I use my left foot to kick off of the foot peg and bring my body up in a 12 o'clock position. And then at that point, I bring both feet together, point them up to the sky the best I can, sit there for a second, look at my bike on the other side, and uh, when I'm ready to go, go for the landing, I tug the bike in, make sure both feet you, you know, wrap around the seat, get over the bike, back on the pegs, right away smooth. Make sure when you're doing this trick that your, your obliques are definitely stretched out, your lower back stretched out. I know when you throw the bike out, that's one thing, but then when you're hanging off the bike, you definitely have to have that power to bring it back in. So you need to have your abs, your core, your obliques, your back all strengthened so that when you pull it in, you can bring your feet back to where they need to be.